Hello seniors! We received a very special message for you from one of our Gator Nation friends. Before I share it with you, I want to tell you a little bit about our guest. Sarah Pepper is the upbeat, multi-award winning radio personality from Mix 96.5 Radio. Shortly after seeing the Hurricane Harvey devastation throughout Dickinson, she was one of the first to arrive at the doorsteps of the ESC with a car loaded with supplies for our families. You may remember seeing her at one of our football games that year, providing fans in the stadium with encouraging words and support from the football field. Since that time, Sarah has been actively involved in Dickinson ISD, and she has helped with several events we have provided for teachers. Sarah loves Gator Nation, and she has a huge heart for helping others. Knowing the disappointment you are experiencing because the COVID-19 pandemic has canceled once-in-a-lifetime events, she prepared this special message just for you. Now here's Sarah. To the graduating class of 2020 Dickinson High School, this is what quarantine will look like. This is what we will remember this year as being haircuts that haven't been had, makeup that is not being put on, leggings that are being worn every day, but it will always be your year. You have in common with every single senior in the entire country this forever, not just in the United States, forever. You will always remember that the year that you graduated was the year of the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic, and that is something that you will have forever. And you can use it two ways. You can use it to beat you down the way the world that sometimes can, that took something away from you that you earned, that you deserve, and you should have. Or you can use it as your catapult, as your motivation to do something and change the world. I was talking to my mom the other day, and she reminded me that in 1937, my grandmother also did not get a walk across the stage for her high school graduation because the small town that she lived in flooded. And she was heartbroken and she was crushed because she didn't go on to college. That would have been the only time that she would have been able to graduate and walk across the stage and wear a cap and gown. But you want to know what? She used it as her motivation. And during World War II, she made boats for the landing at Normandy at the LST shipyard. And she married an amazing man. She had three beautiful children. She had one, two, three, nine grandkids six great grandkids and lived to be 95 years of age and the one thing that she said as she got older was the memories she made throughout her life surpassed the moment where she would have walked across the stage so she used it as her motivation as something that she never forgot that she always remembered but she always knew that other people that were her age always remembered the flood of 37 because they all shared that in common I know that that is no comfort to you right now because what you want to do right now is walk across that stage. You want to be with your friends. You want to enjoy that time. You want the moment that you have earned. And if I could move heaven and earth to give it to you, I absolutely would. But I can only leave you with this advice. Life has a crazy way of kicking you down in a moment where you think that you have earned something and you want something. And sometimes life takes that away from you. But... What is inspiring is in those moments where you get kicked down, the person that you are when you get up and the person that you rise to be in spite of the circumstances that happen to you in your life define you as a person. Don't let this moment define you. Let your reaction to it make you who you were meant to be. Congratulations, Gators.